Testing, testing, testing. Are we speeding? We're speeding. Oh. We are self-taping on the road. You guys, we're at the first Australian date here in Piff. Waving Piff. And I'm gonna get in drag today. We're backstage, there's people literally outside that door. If you hear rehearsal music, if you hear people talking, I can't control that, all right? This is not a one woman show. This is like a 25 human show. So I'm gonna glue down my brows and we'll be right back. All right, so today's video is brought to you by Care Of. Care Of is a subscription service that ships high quality, personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders to your door every single month. You take a short, in-depth quiz about your goals, things you wanna do with your health. It helps eliminate the confusion over which routine is gonna work for you. Each shipment comes with a customized little booklet telling you exactly what's being sent to you and exactly why it was picked out for you, which is something I really enjoyed. And they also come with weird facts. This fact says, historically, peanuts have been used as one of the ingredients in dynamite. Good to know. Something else great is Care Of makes these little packets made from a film that's plant-based, smaller carbon footprint. And listen, for a drag queen with a size 14 woman's shoe, my footprint could be huge. So the first thing I take in mind is a multivitamin for nutrition gaps. The other thing is I'm always doing half marathon training. So magnesium is great because it supports my bone and muscle health. The plant protein is great because this is great for covering nutritional gaps. I mean, I'll have smoothies sometimes and this vanilla flavor, it mixes with anything. I'd mix it in with bananas, raspberries, peanut butter. So let's take mine, shall we? Like I said, these are perfect for me because I can literally count, oh, I have three shows this weekend. I'll take three of these and pack it in my suitcase, done. For 50% off your first Care Of order, go to takecareof.com and enter code Trixie 50 Thank you so much to Care Of for sponsoring the video. I really appreciate making it easier for people like me to make smarter choices with taking care of myself so I can make you guys better quality videos. So let's get back to the video. I'm, I'm self, I'm self taping. I don't know, honestly, I've had Nick tape for me like a few times now, and now I feel like when I tape alone, I'm completely inept, but I, I'm fine, okay? So you guys just seen a video of me packing for tour, so I guess now today we're gonna find out if I packed uh, accurately, because now we gotta use the products that I packed. I got my little powder palette here. These are my Makeup Forever face powders. Let's just get started and let's hope. We just did a run through with some of the material. We hope it works. We don't know, I don't know. Honestly, I'm gonna let you guys in on some inside tea here. The the mantra of post-COVID drag, you guys, the mantra is they get what they get. I think I said that in a video already, but they get what they get, which honestly has just made me feel a lot more free as a performer. I'm not saying I use it as an excuse to not prepare, but like, I don't like concern myself with like, what if everything doesn't go perfect? What if this isn't the, like, I don't know. I just don't, I don't panic. I mean, you know, we have some, we got some script changes here and I'm, I'm, Hoping I deliver the new lines tonight. I don't know, you guys. By the way, I just have to ask, this is my really collapsed, condensed YouTube studio, which is just camera A, I bring my GoPro, and I record my sound on my little phone microphone, and I use whatever light is in the room. It's just, so let me know if this works for you. I feel like on the on the road videos, you you it's it's not the full studio fantasy. But you guys know what I f***ing look like. Sometimes I'm like, well, what if I don't look my very best? I'm like, they know that I look like a f***ing hermit crab. They know that. Everybody knows that. We got a lot of new stuff here actually today. I got the one size secure the blur makeup magnet primer. I think that Candy Muse used this in the video when we had Candy on the channel. And I've had this for months and I haven't used it. Can anybody relate to this? I, th I think it's because I grew up extremely, extremely poor. I don't like wasting things. So when something is, if I'm using something, even though I have a new thing to try, I have a hard time like not finishing that product. Especially if it's like a complexion product, skincare, primer, foundation, I'm just like, I really try to actually use it. I hope that this one will have sort of a mattifying, detexturizing effect. For drag, I really like to stay very matte. Out of drag, I prefer to look like Vaseline, like a grease ball. I like looking like oily almost. But in drag, I like to be pretty matte. So let's hope this does that. Oh my God. I just realized I came back from rehearsal and I still have my shoes on. It's fashion. Okay. Very sexy, very nice. I got this Wet n Wild Care Bear sponge. You guys, look how cute these are. It's very cute and look how big and fat it is. I really like it. Before the application, I like to start with my Bestie Balm. This one's Judy, it's like a hot pink, but I just like to put it on. By the time I put lip product on, I like my lips like, like moisturized to absolute death. So if you put lip balm on at the very beginning of your makeup, it, it's better. You know what I mean? These are amazing, by the way. These are one of my favorite products we've ever put out. This one tastes like 
pink bra sting. It's so cute. Sometimes in the comments, people are like, you're not supposed to put that directly on the sponge. There's a lot of things in drag that I'm not supposed to do, okay? I'm still wearing this foundation on tour. I think it's really like um, very mattifying, very long wearing. It looks pretty good at the end of the show, which I find very impressive because we do a lot of sweating in this show. Honestly, I sweat more in this show than I do in my solo show because of all the movement. Now that I have some foundation on, you can see that this lip balm, Judy, has like a little bit of a tint. Do you see that? It gives you kind of sucker mouth, like you've been sucking on candy. I kind of like that. By the way, like I said, if you hear people talking outside, it's uh, there's people out there doing their jobs, talking about the show. What I also like about this Makeup Forever stuff is Makeup Forever is available at support Bora, so it's actually very gettable. You know what I mean? Every time I'm running out, I'm either in a city that has a Makeup Forever freestanding store or it has a Sephora, which makes it really easy to get. In LA, I just get it at Nigel's, which is, you know, North Hollywood. If you ever go to LA and you want to go makeup shopping, go to Nigel's. They have like, just, they really have everything. Also, when I first went to Nigel's, I was so embarrassed because I, I, I get embarrassed when I ask for a discount for makeup, but I'm technically a professional. So I was like, all right, just ask, just do it. So I get up there and I go, do you have a professional discount? And then I said, I'm an influencer. <laughs> That word is, I mean, that word just makes me think of like a white girl crying at the fire festival now. Like that word is so tainted to me. I am influencing. Well, what you guys don't know about me is that I'm an influencer. How are you guys liking Trixie Motel, by the way? By the time this comes out, the first season might be wrapped. I mean, I really think we did a good job. I gotta tell you guys too, seeing the bus ads and the billboards and like the the Times Square, that stuff is so crazy to me. And not to be a bumpkin, but like every time something like that happens, like a billboard or something, I'm always like stunned. Like I always just feel like I could cry. I feel like in LA, you're supposed to be like, well, I'm never, it's never crazy to see myself on TV because I always knew I would, and that's that's not how I feel. I just am always like, that's, that's crazy. What is this music? Katya's music on, hold on one second. I just had to ask Katya to turn off her music and she was very nice about it. And then she said, well, I have to listen to it when I start my makeup though. And I said, when do you start that? And she said, in an hour. And she said, are you still gonna be filming? I said, probably, probably. You guys are good. Look how, look how like my lips look pink now for sure. All right, let's do some liner here. Okay, I got the CoverGirl Exhibitionist liquid liner. I'm not thrilled with this. Honestly, whenever I'm not thrilled with a liquid liner, it's usually what I use to do like my underpainting. Cause I'm like, I don't care if it shows or what happens to it. You know what I mean? Like if I'm not thrilled with it, I'm like, whatever, I'll use it for my underpainting because who cares? So I'm gonna go in with some shadows here. I have this, you guys, I I use this brush every single time I get ready now. This is the Trixie Cosmetics P9. Dude, this giant, giant shadow brush, my, I mean, I can put my eye makeup on like, like so fast. Let's see what shadows I brought, honestly. I kind of want to try some new stuff. I think I brought some new stuff. What did I, oh, don't fall. Oh, I brought the Sigma New Mod Palette. Let's try it. I think it's like purples, but I think I can make that work for the show. Let's see. Mm, I guess it's like a, it's like a rum raisin. It's like a whiskey, a cherry whiskey color. A cognac. One of my favorite things about doing Trixie Motel was listening to Danny, the designer, talk about like her names for colors. Like one of the colors she was like, it was like a brown and she was like, it's a cognac and I was like, Ooh, like that makes it sound fancy. I gotta say though, these Sigma shadow formulas are really beautiful. Do you see how the shadow touches to the skin, stays where you put it, and then just buffs around? Like that's what you want. I feel like with shadow formulas, that really comes down to PSI, like the pounds per square inch that you press it. Something you don't know about makeup is everything that is a pressed powder, you have to decide as a makeup company what you want that pressed as. So usually the company, like when you come up with a formula for a blush, let's say they'll send you the blush pressed at, let's say, 40 PSI, 50, and 60. And then you have to test A, B, and C, the same formula, same shade, but different pressures. And that can be very like Sophie's Choice where you're like, you're trying the same blush, same color, same formula, just pressed differently. Like the lightest press will kick up more product and you'll get more on your brush. And the firmest press, it'll be like less on the brush. So I always feel like for brighter colors, I kind of want a stronger PSI like a black, let's say. I want like tighter press, but for like white, or, like really shears or like shimmers, I want something really soft that I can like slather on, you know? I really like this, this Sigma New Mod Palette. This is really beautiful. I'm just gonna try to rip through this today because I know that nobody wants to hear me talking to myself in here, so. Plus I'm being considerate of Katya. She wants to listen to music when she gets ready. So the faster I finish this video, the faster I can go in there and say, you can turn on your music. But she listens to like aggressive Russian pop music. And what if one of these aggressive Russian pop artists hears my music in the background of the video and then I get demonetized. And then I have to move, you know, move out of my house. I lose my mortgage. My husband leaves me. I'm left with nothing all because I got copyright strikes on my YouTube channel. Do you want that? I don't want that. Okay, I actually really live for this palette. I wish I would have brought this on my last tour. This is really cute. So I'm gonna go with these deeper shades under here and that's what I'm gonna start doing. This is nice. Do you see how buttery these are? They just, 
Sigma work. That looks pretty good. Some of these darker colors are getting a little muddy, but I, I don't know. I just at this point feel like I'm not a qualified makeup reviewer because I don't use makeup like a normal person. So I'm like, oh, this didn't lay right over my Elmer's glue stick. It's like, I really doubt at Sigma they're testing makeup over Elmer's glue stick. Do you know what I mean? I'm not a reliable source. In the literary world, I'm considered an unreliable narrator. Last night was fun. I went to a nightclub here I uh, called Connections in Perth and I, I messaged the club owner and I said, can I come DJ? I just feel like playing. And they said, sure. So I got to go out and hang out with some of the local DJs and, and spin with them. And it was really, really fun. And by the way, lately I've been doing my brows just using face powder, like just contour. I don't know. I'm just lazy. No, it's okay. I've been trying to, don't laugh. I've been trying to do lower brows. Sometimes I've been seeing myself in pictures where I'm like, I'm like, I look really pretty, whatever I did. And then I'm like, oh, your brows are much lower. I think sometimes I get too vertical and then I look kind of insane. Like, that looks okay, right? Like I just am trying not to go too, like I think I used to go really straight up and I'm trying not to do that anymore. No guarantees though. Kimchi, the most concealer. You guys, I use this every single day to get ready. Every single day, every single day. What if all my videos were me sitting here for like big chunks of time and then just stopping and going, that looks good, right? And then just more silence and then that looks good, right? You guys hear Kelly Mantle sound checking right now? I'm obsessed with Kelly Mantle, you guys. Kelly Mantle is so unintentionally funny, you guys. Kelly Mantle, when we first started touring, I didn't know Kelly that well. I mean, I was a fan because of the Browns and like everything she's, you know, she's a she's an icon. And especially comedy world, Kelly's funny. And I was like, Kelly, do you drink? I was like, I don't know if you drink. And she goes, oh, I drink. <laughs> Which I thought was so funny. Like she wasn't just acknowledging that she was like, yeah, I'll have a drink. She was like, oh honey, I drink. <laughs> I was like, work. So now I know like Kelly's my like wine mom that if I want to have a drink with someone, Kelly's available. By the way, I have the foundations I'm using on this tour. I have the OCC full coverage foundations again on this tour. I put them in a new palette, but I am running out and these are discontinued. So I reached into the vault and I grabbed my good apple foundations. I wasn't blown away by these when they came out, but I'm willing to give them another chance. So let's try them today. I just felt like at the time when everyone was gagging for them, I was like, I just felt they kind of broke apart through the day. Like they looked so good going on. Do you remember when this was like viral? I felt like they looked so good going on, but they separated so weird. And I think it's because it's oh, it's probably a wax base and wax base products. When your skin heats up and the product stays heated long enough, it just moves. It's like anything wax where heat just makes it. You're Icarus, baby. You're flying too close to the sun. Would it be fun to do a get ready video with Kelly? Would you guys get into that? I think that would be fun. She is so funny and interesting. Also today we pulled up to the theater, the Astro Theater in Perth, and it's right next door to an Asian restaurant. Kelly gets off the bus and she doesn't realize that the theater is like kitty corner to where the bus is. Kelly gets out, looks at the Asian restaurant and goes, is this it? I'm like, Kelly, this is a restaurant. She's like, it looks different than yesterday. I'm like, yeah, that's not the theater. So I've got Good Apple here in a few different shades. 21 that I just kind of put all over my face. And this is 12. I hope this is light enough to do like my shaping with. Let's see. Oh, this is 15. Okay, I have 15, which is lighter. I'm gonna use that. I will say I like that this foundation comes in a bunch of shades. I really like, if I like a foundation for drag, I probably want about five shades of it. So I like that there's a bunch of shades. And I hate to say like, but if, if you want to know how a full coverage foundation is going to hold up, ask a drag queen because we're, we're performing in the sunlight, we're performing on stage, we're dancing, we're sweating, we're drunk. If it wears on me, it's gonna wear on you, you know? Did you just hear what they said? So they just said they're gonna put a bowl of ice in front of a fan to cool Katya down on stage. These are godless times. <sighs> let's, let's, I don't know. I hope this wears okay. I, I remember, I haven't worn this in a long time and it's kind of ballsy of me to try this on tour, but like I said, I am running out of my other foundation and it's not re-uppable. So I'm trying to, to pivot here. I got some deeper shades of the foundation. This is tan 68 and good apple. And this is what I'm going to start to use to, to shape the forehead. Ooh, that's pretty dark. All right. This worked the other day though. Yeah, it blends out. See that? I mean, the other thing about, like, I think this is a wax-based foundation. I might be talking out of my ass, but the other thing about, like, a waxier foundation is it does, because it stays warm on your face as you apply it, it does blend really well. And I feel like with makeup, it's hard because sometimes things are, like, viral and it makes you want to try it, but sometimes you're also, like, at a certain point, are people doing videos automatically loving something because they know everyone loves it? Do you know what I mean? Like, I try not to let the opinions of other people, like, influence whether or not I like a makeup product. Otherwise, I think it, it, it can become very insulated. You know, and sometimes I'm like, especially people on PR lists, I'm like, some of these PR lists I'm on, I don't even know how I'm still on them because I have dragged them back and forth to hell because I don't like the product and then they still send it to me. So, but if you're not going to send it to, to people and expect honest feedback, what is the point? You know, I'm just going to go a little darker on that. Looks pretty good, right? I just did it again.
I hate myself. I'm gonna go a little darker on this side because I just remembered I kind of wanted that darker. Just in the pocket. Brandon's been doing this thing where he does my voice and he'll be like, I'm gonna just marry the product into the pocket. And I'm, I wanna be mad, but I'm like, I fucking do sound like that. I am, ugh. You know, I don't listen to myself or watch my videos really or anything. So like at a certain point, it's the only way to like yourself and continue to make content is to not watch yourself do it. You know what I mean? Hand it over to the editors. I watch it once, a little drunk to approve it. And then like, that's it. Do a little bit of the jawline here. Uh, 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 uh. These are big stages. So I really put a lot more contour on for these rooms than I do for, you know, normal life. Did I, oh my God. It looks like I didn't bring my TV paint stick in white, which is a major part of me getting ready. So I guess we're gonna have to make something. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of this good apple foundation, a little bit of this white for Manic Panic. And we're just gonna make, make a very light cream here. It's the beginning of the tour and I'm finding out stuff that I forgot. Who packed this bag? It was me. By the way, if you guys are wondering why I'm using this mirror, not my Trixie mirror, uh, on tour, I smash the mirrors. I can't be trusted with nice things. So I have no nothing, no offense to this mirror, this company, whoever makes it. I have this mirror that I don't care if I break. I don't like breaking my own mirrors on tour. So that color looks pretty good for the nose. I just said it again. That looks pretty good. I oh my God, now I'm so insecure. Is there like a master cut of me saying that looks pretty good every five seconds on these videos? I bet there is. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I got the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Fair. This is like the really light shade. And this is what I'm going to use right on the high planes of my face. I got the Make It Forever. You guys, Make It Forever setting powder here in Banana. I've been using this for two tours. Look how much I have left. There is so much in it. You know what? Oh, well, that sifter's gone. Let me just real quick break that. Ooh, you know what? Does this sifter come out? Uh, I didn't know that. I've been struggling with this sifter every day. Learn new things. We're on the channel learning. Oh, please don't ruin my clothes. I only have like three outfits, okay. I'm gonna take my Trixie Cosmetics P13 brush and just brush, 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 brush. I love this brush. This is, I always call this like an airbrush brush because you can use it for liquid. You can use it for cream, for powder, body makeup, setting powder, blush. I, I mean, you can use this thing for anything. You can even pinch these and then look at you have a fan brush. Like if you're gonna have like one brush for vacation or something, girl, just get one of these dual fiber brushes. You can do everything with this thing. All right, so for powders, I got this. Uh, these are all Makeup Forever powders. So let's just start. I'm gonna kind of hold this here. I've never done this before for you guys, but I'm just gonna hold this here and kind of use it and show you guys how I kind of do like a mosaic. I set the highlights with the corresponding powders and then I set the contours with sort of the corresponding contours. See that? I'm gonna take the Trixie Cosmetics angled blush brush here, and this is what I'm gonna use to start contouring. So start really deep, as far back into the hairline as possible. Hairline, I say hairline, like I have hair. Yeah, right, bitch. Oh my God, today on tour, somebody came backstage and asked me if I had a wig cap. I was like, for what? Why would I have a wig cap? <laughs> to protect my hair, my luscious locks. Yeah, not so much. I bring a straight edge. Oh, perfect. There's a little greeting card. Trixie, have a fabulous open night with love. Steven and Ben from In The Dark Events. Aw, thanks Steven. <laughs> that seemed like I was like them, but I just, I need to use this to do my makeup. I'll have you know that your, your greeting card is going to a good cause, making sure that I have cheeks in the show. If you don't give them the Trixie cheeks, what are you doing, you know? By the way, after I do my setting powder, I'll always take an eye brush. This is Trixie Cosmetics eye brush, and I'll always go in with the corresponding shadows and I'll just like brush over it. See that? I just kind of like set that stuff with the same, because I feel like when I do the setting powder, I sometimes pick up some of the shadow and carry it away. I don't know, that could be imagined. I could be just making that up. Now I'm gonna do some brows. You guys know I'm obsessed with these Lift and Snatch brow pens from NYX. Oh, I hope you guys can see this. I'm gonna zoom it. Are you with me? Are you with me, children? Okay, I'm just gonna like, watch watch what a difference this makes from this eyebrow to this eyebrow. Like, look at that to that. It really makes it look like the shadow I do for my eyebrows is just like a template, you know? Like, that is such a difference. I hope this works. Can you guys see me at all? <laughs> I don't have the monitor today, so I'm just hoping. These are so good and they're so affordable and they have like a bunch of colors. Kat and I both use these. These are, these are really, really fierce. NYX! The fact that I'm not on your PR list, the fact that you don't send me these, it hurts. It does hurt. I'm gonna start doing the white. I'm currently liking the S uh, SVP. I don't know what the f I just said. The KVD Beauty Brow Pomades in white. Like I say every video, you never know. I could be working on an incredible white liner. But until that comes out, this is what I've been using. Because look at how nice and white it is and how fast I get this sucker on. I'm just lazy, you guys. So it's all about laziness for me. I don't like this brush. Where's the Trixie Cosmetics one? Thank you, you see what I mean? I love my brushes, and so now I'm just very spoiled about the quality of them. Isn't that great? I love this product. 
I mean, I don't know why they market this as a brow pomade. Like this is this is just <laughs> it's nothing like a brow pomade. So I don't know why it's called that. I think they should just market it as like a paint, like a universal paint, because it's really, really nice. No, it's okay. I mean, that's listen. Don't look. Don't. Just don't. See, now this is the zoom out section of the video. You guys don't need to see all that. So now I'm going to set the white with some white. I got a few different whites here, but what I've been enjoying, I believe this is the, I think this is the sugar pill white in taco. I mean, over the years, I just continue to come back to this product. It's so good. Let's grab a lid color from the new mod palette. I just want to try this color on the end called preppy, this like vanilla. I don't like the top lid to be as white as the under eye. So I try to do the lid in like a cream now. And I just kind of prefer the way that looks. Like that. It's looking pretty good. If I, if I do say so myself. I don't like to speak of things before they're finished, but it's a masterpiece if I do say so myself. I've been, um, really, <laughs> so old sounding. I've been like, I've been enjoying TikTok, but I really have. I like, honestly, not to be high old, but like renovation TikTok is kind of what got me into TikTok. Like I like watching people's DIYs. When I was doing Trixie Motel, I got so interested in people like doing this full time. And I'm like, how are they doing this? Like transformations of small spaces or like storage solutions. Am I a hundred years old? Comment below. Are you in like your twenties, but you still like watching people like, I don't know, transform a closet. Like, is that okay to like, is that really basic? And if I am basic, I'm, I'm kind of fine with that. Like I'm such a freak being a cross dresser for 15 years. I would love for some part of my life to be normal and basic. Like I do need some balance. Uh, you guys have seen me do my black liner a million times. So I'm probably gonna do that off camera. But before I do, I figured why don't we try this new mascara? This is the Maybelline Curl Bounce Colossal Mascara. I really love the original Colossal Mascara. So let's see what we, what we think and we believe of this. I didn't bring my lash curler, which is maybe good because this is supposed to be a curling mascara. Let's see what the audience thinks. I love these fat brushes. I usually prefer a curling volumizing mascara. Oh wow, it really, it actually is curling. Do you guys see that? You guys, I, I don't think I mentioned it that much, but I'm Native American and I think the most Native American thing about my tr physical traits is that my hair and my lashes and everything are super straight. Look at this actual curl. How is it doing that? Do you see that? Like my lashes are straight, straight. This is a fierce mascara. Look at this. I'm gonna do another coat just to see what happens. By the way, I don't care if I get, you know, up here because we put liner on. This is actually really, cur that looks good. I mean, my lashes are really straight and this is really actually making them curly. How is it doing that? Curl bounce, Maybelline work. It's time for some liner. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lasting Drama liner. I just, I like this liner, okay? Before I do that, I'm gonna take my NYX, uh, that's the point liner. This is the chisel one. Because it's a chisel, it's really easy to make straight, straight, straight lines. Do you see that? Isn't that great? Like it makes it so straight and so easy to put on. And then watch for the middle of my eye where I go do like, you know, my little thing. I'll draw it straight down, turn the chisel, pull it in. And that liner is done. Like I just have to fill it in now. Cause look at this, look at, I can even take this liner I can use it on the bottom. And it's the ultimate one-two punch because then I also have the NYX What's the Point liner in the super fine tip. And that's what I'll use to go in and do the ends. See that, this one is so little. And then look, you can use it to just do the ends so that your tips are super perfect. You don't have to be a good makeup artist. You just have to have clean lines. And then everyone thinks you're a good makeup artist. So I'm gonna do the liner and be right back. So I got, I, I've always been doing my lashes off camera. So I thought let's just do it on camera today. Why not? I wear a bunch of lashes. <laughs> Newsflash, I stack them all up, I put them on my eyes. I would say this is like the number one question I get about makeup when someone comes up to me is how many lashes do you have on? And I'm like, who, who knows? Like at, at a certain point, who knows? Let's do some new bottom lashes. Uh, I packed a little tackle box here with a bunch of bottom lash potential scenarios. I think these are the sugar pill Barbie lashes. I'm gonna try to use the longer, like I'm gonna try to use the full length, honestly. I really like the way it looks to wear like a really long under eye lash. I think I'm gonna have to clip off the end. I don't have any scissors. Because I'm on the struggle bus. Like um, the struggle, the struggleina Aguilera is in the building. I just clipped it off with tweezers. I hope that that is okay. So these are the sugar pill Barbie lashes. I think they're called Malibu. Malibu. Yeah, see, I think that looks pretty good. You guys, the energy tonight is a little bit electric because none of us have done this tour in like two months. And so I think we all are like semi-confident, but also a little concerned about the mistake. You know, we're inevitably gonna make mistakes. We always make mistakes, but we're about to make probably more mistakes than usual because we haven't done this in a while. 
I think we're all like a little like, hmm, how is tonight gonna go? You have to expect that you're going to make mistakes. And like, then when they happen, you don't care. You know what I mean? The animatronic robots at Disney make mistakes sometimes. So you as a human can make mistakes. By the way, I'm obsessed with videos of Disney rides going haywire or like Disney mistakes of like, you know, an Elsa not being able to get a costume off or let it go or like somebody on the Little Mermaid ride and like Ariel's eyeball falls out. Like I love shit like that. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. If you're on YouTube and you're not looking at like Disney fail videos, you are not living. I guess for lips, I think on this tour I do a bright lip. I forgot. Yeah, I guess this is my bright lip tour. My bright lip era, if you will. What am I wearing? What am I doing? Ooh, I, you know, I'm obsessed with these about face liners for real. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, we're doing that. This is an about face liner in uh, Desire Lines. I kind of like this color. That looks pretty. It's a very berry. It's not exactly hot pink. I think I'm gonna wear like a hot pink lip, but let's, let's just, let's, 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 let's f around and find out. What lips did I bring? This is the MAC liquid lip color in Personal Statement. I, I really like this. Uh-huh. I do really like this. I forgot about this. Yes. That looks... Pretty good, I think, right? Beautiful color. Gowns, beautiful gowns. So lately I've been wearing, like, I've been doing like bronzer, highlighter, blush at the end of the makeup. So I'm gonna finish putting on the rest of my drag and I'll be right back. And we're back, can you believe? I think I look pretty good. I've been trying this new thing with my bangs. I feel like it makes me look like Diane Brill. Well, like, you know, the extremely low rent, I wish, bitch, you could never version of like, Diane Brill, but I love her. I don't have my nails on yet, so don't talk about that. But I thought we could do some blush because I've been holding on to these Hair Bear blush and bronzer and highlighter. So I thought like, why don't we try it together, shall we? Live, laugh, hug. I think that's fun. I thought I would just kind of finish my cheeks with a little more bronzer. At the end of the makeup, I've been taking bronzer and like buffing out like the contour areas. I don't know. Almost like setting my contour with real bronzer. Love that. And then this color is called Do What You Love. I. I I mean, listen, it's not hard to sell me on blush. I think I'm just gonna flat out love this. I'm gonna use my duo fiber brush from Trixie Cosmetics just to, to buff it on slowly. Do you see that? That kind of splash of like a hot melon. That is so beautiful. Oh, and then I think I'm normally not a highlighter person per se. I mean, I am, but usually not like, not on stage. I love it in videos and I love it on camera, but on stage, I feel like there's kind of a too few too many variables, but let's just do a little bit of it. This is you let your light shine, Care Bear. Wet and Wild just gets me sometimes. You know what I mean? Like Wet and Wild just really gets gets my vibe. It's kind of a sunshiny gold. Do you see that? Just adding a little bit of texture there. I think we look beautiful. Honestly, I maybe I'm biased because I'm me, but I think we look beautiful. And it looks like we're done. We're gonna get nails on and stuff for meet and greet. Thank you for joining me. I guess let's go do the show. Uh I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.